It's another exciting year for the film festival here at AAA. We're joined now by Harjit Gill as well as Evan Kirksey who are here to talk about it. Thanks for joining us. Sure. Thank you for having us here. So let's talk first. This has been a record year for submissions in terms of the number of films. Tell me, tell me how many you actually received and how many you guys are going to be screening this year. Yes, we actually received over 215 submissions, which uh, the jury and the pre-screeners for SBA Film Festival uh, spent the year looking at and uh, we carefully curated and programmed 54 films overall in this year's festival. So the festival starts on Wednesday afternoon and it runs all the way through Sunday afternoon and it's ongoing throughout the, uh, the conference, um, the meetings. Give us an overview of maybe some of the new films that we'll be seeing, um, kind of the style as well as some of the ones that you're actually highlighting. There's some really wonderful films that are being screened at the festival. What we've done is we've actually created uh, a list of films that we are highlighting within the festival this year. And we're also bringing in over 30 filmmakers from all over the world. And then we have four featured events which are part of the film festival this year. Uh, one is the uh, distribution, a panel on a distribution of ethnographic films. Uh, we have uh, Joshua Oppenheimer coming in and uh, sharing his two films, Act of Killing and his upcoming film, The Look of Silence, with our members. And we are also bringing Trin T. Min Ha in to uh, screen, uh, do a 25th anniversary screening of her film, Surname Viet Given Name Nam. Now you actually work with Joshua, who's going to be here this week, and he's got the two films that he's going to be screening. Tell us a little bit about them and, and your work together on, on human rights. So, so the act of killing is this really creative uh, exploration of a very difficult subject. So there was a genocide that took place in Indonesia. Uh, upwards of about a million people were killed. Um, but rather than sort of focus on just the, the gruesome or, or sad parts of this, um, he, he goes into this fantasy world of the killers, and um, it turns out that back in the 60s when this genocide was taking place, uh, the killers would go watch these Hollywood movies, so like John Wayne movies or, or film noir, and uh, the, the cops and the police uh, and, and the military would round up the alleged communists in these lots next door. So, so the killers would see these films and then reenact what they just saw. And, what jo Joshua has done is, is gone back decades later and given these, these killers the, the full um, you know, Hollywood film crew with makeup and fancy cameras and invited them to play out their fantasies. Wow, sounds fascinating. Tell us where attendees can, can go to watch these films by Joshua and throughout the week where they can catch the film festival. So all the screenings are in fact taking place in the Marriott Hotel. As soon as you walk into the lobby, you walk up to the mezzanine level, you'll see the film festival there, you'll see the programs there. Uh, you know, please come by, check us out, stop by, stop in, see some films, tell people about it, and uh, share it with the rest of the, the, the community. And the film festival is, again, I just want to reiterate, open to public and it's free of cost. You don't have to register to be able to watch the film. So please bring your friends and family. Definitely. It sounds like a lot of fun. Thank you guys for stopping by. I appreciate it. It sounds like it's going to be a great week and uh, have some fun. Thank, Thank you for you. having us.